Do you have spring fever? I know I sure do. We've had an extremely mild winter, um, and I think we're gonna have an early spring. So this is the X350, you've seen it in some of our other videos. And today we're gonna look at what I'm gonna do to get it ready for spring. Um, it's gonna be a comprehensive look. Um, all the things that you may have seen before and then some on top of that as well. As an example, um, and we'll probably do this in two parts, we're gonna be taking the deck off, we're gonna pressure wash it, we're gonna paint it, and then we're also gonna put a sealer on it that is gonna aid in shedding the grass as well. We're also gonna be looking at the spindles on it, and we're gonna be talking what I believe is the fallacy of sealed bearings. Do you, do you grease it? Do you not grease it? If you do, how do you do it? And so on. Um, so stay with us. And by the way, thanks for joining us. We sure do appreciate it. Let's get to work. Hey, if you like our videos, we sure would appreciate a thumbs up. For those that have subscribed, we sure do thank you. So this is a kit. Uh, you can get it from greenpartstore.com. You can get it from your dealer if you have a John Deere. You can also get it from Amazon. And um, this video is going to apply to the X300 to the X394 and everything in between. As I said before, I've got the X350. Um, this is the um, oil filter that um, was included in the kit. It's the AM125424, and I'll be using a um, 905 socket to take the old filter off, excuse me, a 903 to take the old filter off, and a 905 to put the new one back on. Um, they are slightly different, so when you open it and you see the uh, difference in the profile, don't get nervous, it's, it's the right one. They even give you a little sticker like they do when you get an oil change, telling you when your service was performed and the next time it's gonna be due. We're gonna also be replacing the fuel filter, and um, of course the air filter as well, and it comes with the, the dust cover. Gonna replace both spark plugs, they're already pre-gapped, so not much you have to do there. And of course, they include your oil as well. Um, oddly, the um, manual calls for 2.2 quarts. I've got two quarts here. I'm not sure, I've seen other videos where it's just under two quarts. We'll put the two quarts in and then we'll check the level and um, see how close we are if I need any more oil. I've, I believe I do have some. All right, let's get to work. All right, Dare makes this very, very simple. There's just like a little thumb screw here to be able to um, drain the oil. I'm also, I'm gonna pull the dipstick to kind of um, get rid of that vacuum. We'll put that right here. And I'm using a flexible funnel. Um, otherwise, um, well, you're gonna have a mess. So this, as the name implies, you bend this how you want it. I've got it put under the drain plug. And all goes well, hopefully we won't have a mess. And if we don't have a mess, that'll be a little different for me, let me tell you. All right, so we're gonna let this drain. Uh, give it a couple of minutes. I did start the tractor just before to uh, heat the oil up a little bit, which, which is recommended. Okay, while that's draining, there is a cover uh, that goes on the side here. Uh, to remove it, you'll need a T27 and also an eight millimeter socket. It just, you can do it without taking the cover off, but it, it does make it more difficult. All right, so while that's draining, uh, let's go ahead and change these plugs. This is a 21 millimeter socket. And they, they do, the manufacturer does recommend that we torque these to 15 pounds. I don't know if I've ever torqued a spark plug in my life, to be honest with you, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know, I would say that plug is fouled, but there's certainly a lot of carbon built up on it. So we'll get the new one in. So I'm gonna get it as tight as I can with my fingers, and then we'll put the torque wrench on it. So this is a little mini torque wrench, and I haven't had much opportunity to use it, but for the 15 pounds, I think I can get more accurate using this. All right, 
Put the boot back in. Of course, you always want to hear that little snap when you're getting it back on. Let's go to the other side and do that one. This oil looks like it's about drain. We'll get back to that in just a moment, too. All right. And again, that's how the plug looks. So again, I don't know that it's fouled, but, and I don't think it is based on the way the machine was running, that it's actually fouled, but obviously some carbon on it. So again, same procedure here. Hey, by the way, be sure to stay tuned for the end of the video, or the second half of the video. I'm gonna do something that you don't normally see on these videos. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just cause kind of the um, OCD guy that I am. Um, a little bit of extended maintenance, kind of cool. I think you'll like it. So now we're gonna use that 905 filter wrench and change the filter. So I've got a little bit of clean oil that I'm putting on the filter before I spit it on. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Try to get that residue off because what I like to do is just mark that. All right, so now we gotta put the oil in. And again, after, oh, I don't know. A quart and three quarters, I'll check it and check level. They made this kind of nice. It's like a um, thumb release on the hose clamp. You don't have to bring in a screwdriver or anything like that. So as far as this hose clamp goes, just loosen it up enough till you can slide it back out of the way, like so. If you kind of tip the filter up, it'll come out. And that's what we've got. Not all that bad. Now this does not have a dust cover on it. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna put it on in the new one. So we've got the new one with the dust cover on, and you just simply reverse the process. Put it in the um, hose, kind of as you lower the filter down and you're in. Tighten up the hose clamp and we're ready to move on. All right, let's go on to the um, fuel filter now. All right, now what I did want to show you is this fuel line is a whole lot in the way and they just had it zip tied up here. So I've cut the zip tie which, as you can see, makes the filter much more accessible and to be able to get these clamps off as, as well. So I'm gonna grab a rag and I'm gonna disconnect and put the new filter. So this is the new filter and we're gonna put it on this way. I'll pull this fuel line off. Well, now it's time to try something new. So this is the McCullough steamer. And um, I played around with it yesterday and I'm pretty impressed. So what we're gonna do now is steam clean the engine. And what the heck, we'll start off spring with a nice clean machine. As I said, we're gonna get to the deck and um, sharpening the blades and all of that in the next video. But right now, let's, let's try this out.
So of course I'm going to stay away from uh, electrical items. Well, I'll tell you what, had some grease residue down here and it's really doing a nice job. Manufacturer wants you to use distilled water, which of course I did, and then it has a gauge on it. Let me show you that. As long as you're in the green, it tells you you're okay to work. And of course this is where you, that's your fill spout. There are a ton of attachments for this thing too. You can get as particular as you want and wipe all this down and what have you. Um, I'm going to just let it dry and I want because I want to see exactly what type of results I can expect from this. Well, I think it's I think it's doing a pretty good job. I really do. Hey, that's it for today. You know, I could cut today if I needed to now. Mechanically, uh, everything is done that needs to be done. Next episode, gonna drop the deck, gonna paint it, gonna put a sealer on it, I'm um, gonna address those spindles, and probably some new blades too. Or we'll sharpen the ones that we have. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, we sure would appreciate a thumbs up. To those that have subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, and you like what you see, we'd love to have you in the family. God bless you all. and. Thank you for being with us on Tractors in Life.